Ah, <sighs> finally I can talk about this. Godzilla King of the Monsters. Whew, I've been waiting a long time for this one. Very, very long time since the 2014. I'm a big fan of Godzilla. Um, I am a big, big fan of Godzilla. I've been a kaiju fan for a while. I'm not talking about just Godzilla. I'm talking about Gamera, Pacific Rim. I mean, you name it. Giant Claw, King Kong. You name it. I love it. Um, kaiju is, kaijus are awesome, man. Big ass monsters are freaking awesome. There's just no doubt about it. Godzilla is the best of them. He's the king of the monsters for a reason, baby. So there's a lot of divide. I'll just get right into it. There, there's a lot of divide uh, about this movie when it comes to critics and audience. And where my standpoint is, I love the movie. I love it. Now there are some flaws with it, yes. Uh, but... For the most part, man, I, I don't care. Like, at the end of the day, I'm really not there for the human aspect of the movie, which I thought was good anyways. I thought they had... I. It's not the best. It's not supposed to have this deep emotional story or something like that, but the family I liked, um, there's Millie Bobby Brown, Farrah Farmiga, I believe her name is, uh... Tywin Lannister himself. I I liked the movie, man. I liked the movie. It had a lot of good solid actors, too. It had a good lineup. And, you know, there are a lot of characters. It does seem kind of busy. But, I mean, like, really, in all aspects, I really enjoyed the humans. Um, I thought they were... I thought a lot of their lines were funny. I saw this on May 30th, okay? I saw it a day before... It was originally supposed to come out, and I saw it in IMAX, and it was phenomenal. It was phenomenal. I, um, I went with my girlfriend, of course, and she was for the first time. Even her, she's not a big Godzilla fan. The only one she saw, the only two she saw, was twenty fourteen in Kong Skull Island. That's the only one she's seen. She's seen King Kong movies, but other than that, she's seen like you know, of course, King Kong movies, Jurassic Park, but she never got in delved even into Godzilla, and. Even as a, as her not being a fan of that or not knowing anything, she enjoyed the movie thoroughly. She she was trying to find plot holes in the movie or something like that. But she even her she cared for the humans. But let me tell you, they fixed a lot of a lot of issues uh, that we wanted from the twenty fourteen one, and that was we wanted to see Godzilla. I wanted to see Godzilla. Was the payoff great? Yes. I loved the payoff in 2014, and I liked the style that they went through with 2014. You know, they try to go for, you know, a, a more realistic, terrifying feel almost. What would it be like if fucking Godzilla just decided to come up out of the ocean and start trampling around? And there's other these other two monsters that he's got to deal with, the Mutos. Um, and I'll be honest, um, I didn't really care that much for the Mutos. I mean, they were just kind of there, you know, like... They were trying to breed, and they kind of created this um, element that Godzilla needed to come and deal with them. But for the most part, I didn't care about them. All I wanted was them to get their their butts smashed by Godzilla. That that's it, really. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, some of the cinematography in that movie was phenomenal. And what and you know, just the just the way they tried to go about it was great. But in my opinion, it's it just wasn't wasn't what I was looking for. I, I still bought the movie and I still watch it back. But at the end of the day, it's besides Brian Cranston, there wasn't a human character that I even cared for. I didn't care for Brody. Hardly cared for his for his wife. This movie, I did care about the family. I really did. I th I found them enjoyable. I thought Emma was you know her balance of did I make the correct decision. Um, and I'm not going to get into any spoilers, but, you know, her decisions for her family and her work, you know, I felt that. And, um, you know, Millie Bobby Brown, the daughter, I felt her concern, you know. it. But, you know, you're not supposed to have an attachment to it. But for the part that you're really looking for and you really want to go watch... And I absolutely recommend going to watch this movie in theaters. If you look at the... If you look at the um, the scores from audiences, they love it. They love this movie. It's phenomenal. 
it's got a score of 90%. It's almost as much as Endgame, I believe, which also last time I checked had a 90, 91%. That's almost, you're hitting some high points like Marvel, and Marvel is a great, just a great movie um, universe. It's a great universe, the MC universe, but the big thing, the fucking monsters, man. King Ghidorah, Rodan, Mothra, or Matra, or Masra, I believe is what they call him in Japan, and in, oh boy, the king himself, Gojira or Godzilla, whatever you want to call him, Godzilla, the king, baby, the king. <sighs> wow. Every monster, every time a monster was on that screen, I, I, I was enamored. I was floored on how amazing this movie was when it came to the monsters and the monster fights now sure there was some shots where the monsters were a little in your face but even then i didn't feel like they were that in my face like just because the whole time they were on screen they had my attention they had my eye they i was amazed there's no other ways no other words to put it other than I, my eyes were glued to the screen and like I said, I watched it in IMAX, and it was incredible. The fights were awesome. They 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 just had this fuck. They just had this huge feel because they are they're freaking massive. They're giant monsters, but they just had this feel of just gods fighting amongst men, just going to town. In the fur in the very in the first uh, parts of the movie. Um, there were fights that were going on that I was like, whoa, this is something I would see at the end or something like that. This is an, uh, incredible. The monsters take it, and Godzilla feels like a god. You know, he feels like the king he's supposed to be. King Ghidorah was amazing. The whole the whole head trio was really cool. The middle was more was more of the alpha, of course, but the other two kind of had their own little personalities, and it was cool to see that. It was very awesome, and he looked so menacing. He looked incredible. It was incredible to see him on screen like that and just as big and bad as ever and he really took it man he took it to godzilla and the fights the scenes that Ghidorah is in is amazing they're incredible they did such good work on him you can really tell where the cg went here where the cgi money went here and you can tell where that budget went because i mean the fights were incredible rodan when he came out of the volcano um you know, if you've seen the trailers, and I'm sorry if, you know, you didn't see the trailers and that was a bit of a spoil, but, you know, him coming out of that volcano and, you know, just showing how big and menacing he was, you know, something that really looked like he could live in a volcano. It looked incredible, incredible. Uh, the the scenes that he was in were just in, Mo oh my god, Mothra, Mothra, the queen of the monsters herself. Beautiful. Her bioluminescence was incredible. Her, uh, Every scene she was in, she just took. She took by storm, man. She was beautifully made, beautifully done. And you know what? The redesign, I loved. I personally loved, you know, those big, big wings, her pincers, everything. You know, she she had a menacing look, but a beautiful look all the same. You know, she really felt like she was supposed to be the queen of the monsters. You know, the, the true OTP uh, to Godzilla. And you know what? I loved it. I loved it. I, like I said, minuscule, very minuscule complaints. But if I were to give this a rating, I would say 8.5, 9 out of 10. That's how much I enjoyed it. I really think this is one of the best, if not the best Godzilla movie made. And I, I'm not exaggerating. Godzilla, the first Godzilla, you know, did the, the did an incredible job, you know. That's where the original is. And you always must respect the original. And you have to, because none of these would be made afterwards. But... Even then, I just felt like I had so much fun with this movie as, like, Godzilla Final Wars, uh, All Out Monsters Attack, you know, Godzilla vs. Destroy, uh, stuff like that. It was just amazing, and I, I, was, I was glued to the screen. I loved the whole movie. I, I, I really enjoyed the whole movie. So I think critics got it wrong. I think audiences have it right. If you're a fan of Godzilla, you're going to love it. And if you're not, even still, man, go with a friend or something like that. You'll really enjoy what you're gonna see. You'll love the the action. It's a really great blockbuster, and I can't I can't express that enough. So this is just my review and my feelings on Godzilla: King of the Monsters. Catch you guys next time. Peace.